Well, that's the first time I've worn a mask since, well, any time after 2020. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome to 31 Days of Horror. I am Morgan Film Fan. Let's jump into some scares. The Dentist was a film that was, was released in 1996 and if you want a deliver of cheese, man, does this film have a deliver of cheese for you. Um, this film is ridiculously directed but that's kind of what gives it its charm as well. It's in the vein of the room. I mean it's done much better, I will, I will have to say, com in comparison to The Room. But, uh, man, does it have this cheesy charm to it that I don't know what the director was going for. Was he going for comedy? Was he going for horror? Because it's just so ridiculous the way everything plays out with this whole psycho-dentist situation. What we have going on here is we have this dentist who finds out that his wife is cheating on him and when he comes home he's looking out the window and I'm telling you like the way they shot this whole thing it's very softcore pornographic like you have the dude it's some guy who's like doing some kind of landscape job or something like that and uh, the woman starts to go down on him and you have him like grabbing her hair and like pulling her head and you're looking at this as like, whoa, this is like very um, risque controversy kind of thing. And you have this dentist looking out the window like in shock kind of kind of thing. And then after that, when he goes back to his place of work, he starts to kind of have visions. And um, every time he sees a patient, he thinks of his wife or he thinks of like the rotten decay of the, the patient's teeth. And he just starts to go mad essentially and um, there's also some very like shocking scenes when it comes to him torturing his victims or his patients however you want to look at it um, there's a child that he, he mutilates in a sense because he starts to see this child's like teeth rattling. there's a scene where this woman comes in and uh, this woman patient comes in for a teeth job essentially and he begins to have his way with her and he like it, it, it's a it's a hallucination but he's kind of also doing certain things that are in reality kind of thing he ends up taking her stockings off or like her leggings whatever you want to call it and a supervisor or uh like an assistant nurse kind of walks in and she's like um what is this lady's stockings doing on the floor and he's just like like she she kind of takes them to herself and she asks another employee is like I found these like what's going on what's going on with this guy it's just insane how how everybody goes along with this guy's insanity it, it like this guy is losing his shit and everybody just goes along with it and he shows and uh the the woman shows this other employ this other secretary like I found this in Alan's patient's room like uh, what's going on here and she's like oh well you you never know like maybe it just fell out of her purse whatever maybe it just fell out of her purse maybe her stockings fell out of her what <laughs> maybe her stock yeah maybe the the chick is is carrying around stockings just in case she needs to put on another pair in a washroom somewhere are you dude bruh chick get yourself together <laughs> i'm pretty sure he tore those things off of her and then he 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 tortures other victims 
And for the first, like, third of the film, he's just torturing uh, children and women, which is very, very shocking. Only to the end of the film do you have him torturing a dude, and he, like, pries his mouth open, like, he puts this thing, like, when you're at the dentist, and they have to, like, pry your mouth open kind of thing, but he, like twists it all the way like where his jaw is like down here it's like it's like it's just absolutely ridiculous and um the practical effects are really good in this film i really enjoyed those it's just one of those films that is so hokey in its directing and so hokey in its acting that it's like is this really going on but i kind of love it at the same time because of that the practical effects mixed with like the ridiculousness of the entire um, situation going on with the film is just like, I kind of love this. I, I find it ridiculous, but I kind of love this. And you add the practical effects and it's just like, yeah, I, I, I really enjoy the, <laughs> the, the insanity of Alan. I forget his name. I, I forget the actor's name, but uh, the actor does a phenomenal job portraying such a insane dude. Like he 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 does his acting like no tomorrow, and I really loved just watching this insanity kind of unravel itself, kind of thing. And I really had a good time with this film. I think the dentist is one of the most disturbing films of the of the 90s especially if you like hate the dentist in the first place um don't watch the dentist if you hate the dentist going to the dentist in the first place um but i had a really good time with it and i was disturbed like in certain scenes like i was watching it and i'm like oh and and i have to mention there's a scene where i looked up the girl's age and apparently she's 22 but I was watching this scene and there's this girl with braces. She has like this kind of pixie haircut and uh, she, she looks like she's 12. Like I'm looking at this girl and she looks like she's 12. And there's this guy who looks like he's mid thirties and he's like, hey, are you a model? Do you want to model for somebody? Here's my business card. Here's my name. My name is Steven. Would you like to come model for me? Would you, hey, stand up and do like a little twirl around. Why, why don't you walk back and forth in this room? I'm like, dude, she looks 12. What, 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 what are you doing? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Apparently she, she's an adult and everything, but like she has braces on her face. It was just, it was very strange. It was a very creepy um, if I saw this girl, I'd be like, you're a child. Like, I, I and if I saw the dude saying the stuff, I'd be like, how old is she? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I digress. This girl, this 22 year old girl also gets almost tortured, but uh, she defends herself and she defends herself very good. And that's kind of the climax of the film. And I really liked how they used her or utilized her in a way that um, she like stands up to this psychotic dentist. And uh, she she's basically the final girl of the film. And I really appreciated that, uh, the direction of that part, even though the entire film, I will have to say is, is extremely cheesy. Um, the disturbing aspect of it is just so glorious that I have to love this film. I think I'm going to come around to this film at a three and a half, maybe four, maybe, maybe four, but um, three and a half for sure. Uh, I, I really had a good time with this film and I really enjoyed myself with it. And that's The Dentist from 1996. It has a sequel and I'll be watching the sequel. Uh, it comes actually in this package from um, from Vestron Video. So I'll be watching it at some point. Is the sequel going to be as good? I don't know. But uh, this is The Dentist, the original Dentist, 1996 Dentist. And uh, it was hella disturbing. 
but I had a really, really good time with it. Subscribe to Morgan Film Fan if you like to listen to my voice or if you like my film reviews. I'll be back with more soon, so stay tuned for those. Check what's on the channel already. Stay tuned for what's coming. Tomorrow, we will be dreading the sundown. Till next time, take care and cheers.